Welcome to Lake Washington Institute of Technology, and welcome to the first annual advisory committee meeting of year 2021 for the Biomedical Device Manufacturing Program. On behalf of Lake Washington Institute of Technology, I truly express my gratitude for every member who dedicates his or her precious time to serve the community, contributes to the success of our college's mission, and makes a positive impact on the public technical education. In the next few minutes, I will be talking about our current program progress, and I truly appreciate your time. I will briefly talking about our current progress on program preparations to include laboratories and marketing, students' hands-on skills, and summit challenges. So let's get started. Lab preparation progress. Our biomedical device manufacturing program is now prepared with two advanced laboratories. The main one is for electronics assembly training, and the other is for lasers and optical assembly related trainings. Both labs are equipped with the most essential tools and equipments for running the program's major courses. In the next few slides, I will show you some real photo examples. The main biomedical device lab is located in the East Building E135, and it currently has the most essential equipments to include furniture, soldering stations, electronics, test instrumentations, microscopes, and medical device training equipment. And from here and again, on behalf of Lake Washington, I would like to thank the Stryker Company, and in particular, Mr. Matthew Twitchell, for the generous donation to our new program. The donation included 50 life packs devices worth $10,000 estimated market value. This is actually a giant leap because we currently use these devices for teaching and training our students the importance of this technology on the health care. On the other hand, we have the Photonics Lab which is located in the West Building W116. The lab is equipped with the most essential tools and equipment to include lasers, optics, and much more, so that our students can learn the basics of optics and imaging. In the photo here, you can see our students are conducting a laser experiment that requires higher degree of precision and they are doing great. Marketing progress. Besides our website, we are more than usual very active on social media to include LinkedIn. And this is thanks to Mr. Marco Daura for his incredible input and continuous support. Thank you, Marco. Student progress. Student progress in a scale building. Our current students have successfully finished the first quarter, and one of them got already a job offer from Fluke. Isn't it amazing? I will show you some real examples of what our students can do with the skills they developed in such a short time. First, let's talk about electronic circuit assembly skills. Here are some real-life examples of one of our students' results of electronics circuit board assembly. The technologies used here are the surface mount technology, or SMT, and through hole. The soldered joints are, of course, based on the industry standards. Another some examples of a real student's projects to include, from the left to right, a controlled LED a portable oscilloscope, and a variable power supply. These examples just to showcase how our students are now capable of assembling complete electronics applications. Not only electronics, but also skills on optical system assembly. As it can be seen from the photo, a group of students working together in the photonics lab on creating an optical experiment using a laser they, of course, following the standards of laser safety protocols. Students have 
also develop the skills on fiber optic splicing and inspecting. And I cannot really imagine this is happening. Besides electronics and optics, they now have the fundamental professional skills in metrology, quality assurance, and quality auditing. They also developed critical thinking and problem solving skills via using the amazing 3D printing technology. And here are some real examples of students' CAD designs to solve a real life problems. Our students are currently in the process of learning about the operation fundamentals of medical devices and systems to include electrocardiography or ECG, patient monitoring devices, wearable devices, medical sensors, defibrillators, and much more. We promise to prepare our students to have better understanding of the major considerations in biomedical and instrumentation design and manufacturing processes, from the concept to distribution and marketing. Spring 2021 will be a remarkable quarter because it will witness the first generation graduates of the program. We are looking forward to seeing this day, and it is soon. I cannot really wait. Future collaboration. In the near future, we are also looking forward to having a fruitful collaboration between the current biomedical device program and the new approved laser and optical technology program. This collaboration will train students to repair biomedical devices and systems, and in particular, medical device laser-based systems. For more information about our new photonics program, please feel free to download our latest publication from the SPIE Digital Online Library. The challenges we have. Well, let's talk briefly about the challenges. To better moving forward, we need to take a look on the challenges we currently have. The challenges so far, in my humble opinion, can be concluded into one main thing, and it's of course the effects of the COVID pandemic on the economy, which makes some of our students have a serious financial problems. And therefore, I'm afraid this will have a direct impact on the future enrollment. Again, thank you so much for your attention and time. Please stay safe and healthy. Thank you.